a gold glover, an all-star, and a middle-of-the-order bat for the Mariners for the past decade, has decided to retire after playing 11 seasons with the Mariners. What's up guys, it's Tom here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk about the retirement and career of Kyle Seeger. I want to talk about the player that he was and also share some of my favorite Kyle Seeger moments. It's sad to see him retire and it is quite shocking. A lot of people thought that he was going to sign a, another contract with another team. However, he's calling it quits after 11 seasons with the Mariners. But the good thing is he went out on top with a career high 35 home runs this season. He ranks fourth in the franchise in games played, hits, home runs, and RBIs. He also has the fifth highest war in Mariners franchise history. You know, seeing him emotional in that last game with the Mariners, we all thought he was going somewhere else. But in reality, it's even harder knowing that he knew he was going to retire at that moment. Here's a quick little quote that I found from Kyle Seeger when he texted Ryan Divish of the Seattle Times. He said, I knew if we got eliminated that it would be the last time I played baseball. I knew it was my last at bats. I knew it was my last ground balls, my last innings. All those thoughts were in my head. I had so many emotions going on that day. My family being out there for the pregame pitch was magical. I got very emotional very early in the day. So Kyle Seeger knew what he wanted to do, especially in the situation he was. He wanted to be a lifelong Mariner, and now that he was done with the Mariners, he is giving up baseball altogether. He seems like a big family man, and I feel like for him it would have been a huge hassle to relocate his family to a new place and start all over again. He cashed in with the Mariners because the Mariners gave him a seven year, $100 million extension, and now Kyle Seeger is done with baseball. So I wanna share my thoughts about Kyle Seeger real quick. It, it's tough to see him go, obviously, especially because he was with the Mariners at the time when I started to become a big Mariners fan and more and more involved with baseball. I mean, you can just look at the standing ovation he got from the crowd in his last game. That right, oh, that's, ooh, that's giving me some chills right now, but that just shows you how much of a player he is and how much the people of Seattle and the fans of the Mariners care about Kyle Seeger. I've always loved him because as a Mariners fan, you can depend on him year in and year out. He's always gonna be there for you. He played in a lot of games in 11 year span. Without a doubt, he's gonna go down as one of the best Mariners to ever do it. Um, it's a shame guys like him and also Felix Hernandez never got to play in the playoffs. However, if you're a true Mariners fan, you're gonna remember them for the rest of your lives. Let's move into some of my favorite Kyle Seeger moments. I have four that come to mind. And the first one's more of a funny one. Um, that is the Jared Weaver incident. Jared Weaver plunks him after Kyle Seeger calls time. He's kind of taking his time. They exchange some words. I just think that's hilarious. He gets plunked. Just two alphas going at it, and that's what I love. Next, we'll move to the diving catch he made to save James Paxton's no-hitter in Toronto. So obviously, you know James Paxton, he throws a no-hitter, but in every no-hitter, there are always defensive plays that save the no-hitter. And in this case, Kyle comes up clutch, diving towards the third baseline, snagging the ground ball, and throwing the batter out at first base instant classic right there. Next up, we have a two home run game against the Astros back in 2014, which he also happens to hit a walk-off home run as well. In this game, Seager's offensive power was on full display, hitting his first home run, and then later in the game, hitting a walk-off home run to seal it for the Mariners and carried them to victory. And the last one I wanna talk about is when Kyle and Corey Seager got to face each other last year in the 2020 shortened season. I thought this was an awesome moment. You know, Corey Seager's involved in there, but the big family man that Kyle is, this was an awesome moment. Both of them went deep in this game and it was great to see them go at it. That's all I have to say about Kyle Seager. I just wanna say thank you to Kyle Seager. It'd be wild if Kyle ever watched this video. That'd be hilarious, but thank you. We all love you. Everyone that's a fan of the Seattle Mariners cares for you deeply and hopes that you have nothing but the best for you in your future. So Mariners fans and baseball fans as well, drop a comment, give me your favorite Kyle Seeger moment down below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new as well talk some baseball on this channel. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.